First arms here. All right, this is the finished AR-15 from Rock River Arms that we did. Uh, as you can see, the butt stock, pistol grip, and forend are all Magpul accessories. Uh, I went ahead and painted the barrel and the trigger and all the the pins, as well as the new mill spec tube, uh, the SOCOM black, and everything else I did in the flat dark earth color uh, molly resin. And just to remind you guys, we had to go in here and uh, take off the A-frame, the front sight post, which I will add the Magpul uh, front and rear sights onto it uh, at a later date. But then we, we had to put in the Yankee Hill low profile gas block uh, and then attach this uh, full length 13 inch free float quad rail in here. All right, here it is, just a recap of the two builds that we did. Uh, the first one is the Remington 870 pump action shotgun. It was originally the one with the wood stocks and the 28 inch barrel and we added the Magpul butt stock, the UTG 415 quad rail, as well as the Burris Fast Fire 2 and the forend of Magpul and FDE and then we got the 18 and a half inch police barrel and the uh, extension uh, from Remington for the uh, two round extension. It turned out to be pretty good looking shotgun I think. Alright the second one was the Rock River Arms AR-15. Uh, it originally was all FDE and it had the traditional quad rail on um, the standard uh, length quad rail with the A-frame and uh, we went ahead and added UTG's 415 quad rail that's uh, free floating that's the full length so we just have a, a few inches difference over here at the end where we painted the barrel instead of being FDE we went back to the black SOCOM color we added uh, Magpul accessories to it as well as refinished the flat dark earth color and painted other parts uh, SOCOM black um, little parts here and there and the barrel SOCOM black and I'll turn these all around so you guys can see them but I think it actually turned out pretty well we had the ambient extra safeties as well as the charging handle latch let's see here just so you guys can get a look at the other side And we'll do the same thing for the Remington 870. There we go. Alright. Thank you guys for watching.